Hey everybody, this is my freaking over elaborate chicken farm and I'm going to go ahead and just show you how this whole thing works and the motivation behind it was I wanted a chicken farm that would be as automated as possible and basically have all the flashy features and so this chicken farm features automatic egg dispensing, it's on a time, it's on a time clock and I chose to do that because I figure that you can you can go AFK and collect a bunch of eggs and then if you want to harvest the chickens and send stuff off to your storage room on mine carts, you know, whatever, you can load eggs into the dispensers and they can shoot into the breeding chamber and that's all automatically done while you're down here and you're putting stuff in mine carts and sending it off to your base or whatever. So a little bit about how this works. As I said before, that's on a the dispensers are on a time circuit, and <clears throat> the rest of it there's really not that much else to it redstone wise. Most of the work was getting it as compact as I could. Now I'm not exactly a master when it comes to redstone, so I'm sure this could be even smaller. But I tried to get it in as small of an envelope as I could, and I think I've done pretty well. So <clears throat> just to walk through the process. The eggs will come out of the dispensers and the chickens will be allowed to sit there and grow to maturity. And those pistons block off this edge right here so they can't go down. So they're just sitting in the water and it makes one heck of a noise. So that's kind of a downside. But uh, when the player wants to, har wants to harvest the chickens, these pistons retract. Until then, the, the, the uh, chickens just sit here and they can lay eggs, which is really nice because they fall down here, they go down this ice path, and down there, and there's a, and then it heads right to the collection point where the player stands. So once you want to harvest the chickens, you simply press the button next to the collection point, and these pistons will retract, the chickens will fall down, and they'll hit these pressure plates. And the function of the pressure plates is that it turns off, we need a better angle here, this water right here, and that water pushes the chicken carcasses and the eggs to you. And the reason we want to turn that off is because when the chickens run through this fire, you don't want them putting themselves out. And so the water turns off by those pressure plates that I showed earlier, and the reason there's this big complicated redstone circuit controlling it is because dispensers are what I believe is called edge triggered. And what that means is when it receives a positive signal, like an on signal, it causes the dispenser to do what it does, either, either pull the water back in or push it back out. The problem is when it goes back, when the signal turns off, the state of the dispenser doesn't change. So that's, what an, that's essentially what an edge trigger is, except the dispenser exhibits that behavior instead of the circuit. So the whole reason for this complicated circuit is to make it, it, it's almost like a T flip flop in a way and essentially these pressure plates stay on for long enough even after the chickens come off them to compensate for the rest of the chickens getting there and, there, and if there's any gaps. So <clears throat> I had to add a lot of pulse delays and pulse extenders and crap to get this all to work and I've got it pretty reliable. And so when the chickens come here this is the part that I had to compromise on with this farm. Usually I like the farm to be 100% automated where you can stand you know, right at the collection point completely AFK, you don't have to be, have anything special with you, and the chickens would just cook themselves and everything would be awesome. That's not how this works unfortunately. The most reliable way I found was to hold a piece of wheat because as we all know the chickens are attracted to wheat. So what that does is it causes them to walk through the fire indiscriminately. And the function of these two fence posts here, you'll notice the one behind it is nether rack, although you can't see it very well. Excuse me, uh, nether brick fence. And that's to prevent it burning from the fire. This wooden one right here is far enough away that it won't catch. <clears throat> and the function of those two fence posts is to kind of fool the chickens into thinking that there's ground there, but the reality is they'll fall right through the middle, burn up, and then the way the circuit works is 
hopefully once the last chicken crosses off the pressure plate, the chicken will die before the signal has time to get here. And I found in testing that probably 98% of the time that's the case. So I'm very happy with that result. Um, <clears throat> this fence gate has a dual purpose. It holds back the water and it also prevents the chickens from coming out, which I found to be a huge problem that I didn't anticipate. And so I make good use of ice in here. It delivers the items very quickly. Uh, the stream off to the right, right where I'm looking, is for the eggs. You'll notice that, that it goes back there and it comes down from the water that pushes the chickens over. And so it's a very nice way to split up the eggs from the chickens. And the end result is that you get a crap ton of eggs and a crap ton of pre-cooked chicken. So no furnaces, no nothing. And let's see, what else do we need to show here? Um, this pressure plate is for the sole purpose of opening the door. It serves no other purpose. Um, <clears throat> if we go up here, this is where you load the chicken eggs into the dispensers. And this lever right here it activates the egg dispensers. As, you'll, as you can see at the moment, the egg dispensers are off. And <laughs> the reason for this is because the sound of dispensers clicking is incredibly annoying, and dispensers going on constantly also kind of lags your game, as I found out. Um, so that's the reason for that. And down here is, if you were to add this to your base, this is where kind of a minecart station unloading type of thing would go and you would send it off to your storage room or whatever because chances are you're going to get a whole ton of stuff and even if it doesn't fill your inventory it'll probably you'll probably have to make room for it so that's the reason behind that so <clears throat> as far as the circuitry goes um, in terms of logic uh, if you want to turn the dispensers on you have to flip the lever and then there's also an AND gate here, and that detects if the button at the bottom that activates the chicken cooker, or really, I guess it releases the chickens and they cook themselves, uh, when you hit that button, it also goes to this AND gate, and if the dispensers are on, it turns them off, because there's no point in leaving them on and then wasting a bunch of baby chickens and probably lacking your game even more. Uh, this, is the, this is the clock circuit. I don't know. I have some kind of a block about me for making clocks. I just can't seem to pull it off on my own, even with just repeaters. They always seem to, it always seems to run out for some reason, like reset itself. So this is a clock that I found on the Minecraft wiki, and it serves its purpose very nicely. So <clears throat> let's see. Um, I believe that's everything as far as this is concerned. Uh, this right here is an RS NOR latch. Uh, I had to do some pretty fancy wiring below this for the button to send a signal up to these pistons because I couldn't interfere with these stairways. So everything, an RS NOR latch, an inverter, all that stuff had to fit in that little space that you see right there. Problem is that intersects the uh, main part where the player is standing. So I had to do some clever uh, manipulation of torches and wiring and redstone conducting versus non-conducting blocks. Uh, that was quite a debacle. In any case, I pulled it off and this works pretty well. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I think I've covered all the wiring. You'll notice the water goes back into that recess and you might think, you know, why did I do it that particular way? And that is because I didn't want the water flowing too far because when those pistons retract, it would flow onto the signs and basically block off the hole that it's supposed to create. Now, I don't believe that would be an issue anymore, or actually I know it won't because you'll notice I changed it so that the water flows down a block here. That allowed me to pull it up a few spaces. Um, the reason I didn't pull it up all the way and make it super, super compact is because through experimentation, I found that you'll notice how the water level kind of goes up along this line. When you get around here, the chickens start to squeeze into the space here and they don't really go down very effectively. And unfortunately, these half slabs are necessary by the nature of the design because if they weren't there, the chickens would just jump right over the pistons, as I found out. So 
this is probably the best compromise I could come up with, and I got to say it actually works pretty well, and I managed to fit in all the redstone, so I guess I'm not complaining. And you'll notice you can actually see all the circuits and whatnot through here. That's because this is in creative mode, and I haven't implemented it in my real world yet, my, my uh, actual survival world. And the reason I'm going with all this glass and stuff is just so I can see everything and show you guys. In my real world, my personal kind of policy is any redstone should be hidden from view, at least when the player is just normally using the machine. That's kind of just the way I do stuff. Uh, I had to make a small compromise on that one because there's this torch here. Now, obviously, you can't see it unless you're really looking for it, but it you know, kind of irks me a little bit because that's how I play. Whatever the case, I'm still happy with the result. So now I'm going to load up the dispensers and let it go for a while, and I'll show you how everything works.